Hey, ooh, what's happening, people Woo. out there in the internet, in the right world, here. and everything? Ranking the Spider-Man movies. Uh, to let you know, Venom is included in our rankings that we are doing. So, for you people who are like, hey, what, what are they including? What are they not including? Yes, we're including all the movies, the ones that were was Venom is part of Spider Verse, or you know, all his Spider Man universe. Mm -hmm. So he's in I there. my list. I got my list. Uh, I got mine too. Old school, palm paper, pencil paper, pen paper, classic. Anthony, Daniel, we're here to give you guys our list because of the recent drop of that. Dare I say, amazing Spider Man Far From Home movie. We decided that it's only. It's only right that we re rank the Spider Man movies. You Did know? we rank them the first time? I don't really recall. I don't think so. But we're ranking them now, so here you go, people. All right, so uh, who's going first? Uh, me or yeah, you? You can be you. All right, then. You want to see how you bad can, your list is? My list is It's not perfect because there's things that can be switched. But here we go. When we were X Men, that was horrendous. That was a change of pace. It was it was it controversial was and it was horrendous. It was easily controversial and it could be easily explained how great it was. Just listen to it. Check check that video out. Look out at our past videos. We ranked the X Men movies. Check that out, people. So you, you starting there's nine of them. Just in case you guys were wondering, there's nine. We're starting and at the nine plus because of the Venom movies. Nine. Yeah. So at number nine for me, Spider Man three. Obviously, that obviously. sorry was they just ruined yeah they made fun of that it was so bad they knew how bad that was they made fun of that in the other Spider-Man movie that's how bad they knew that was that the, the trilogy fell off right there um for me that was number nine number eight Venom mm -hmm. Venom at number eight it just was like okay that's <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's how I felt when I walked out. I was like, okay. That's it. All right. For number seven, Amazing Spider-Man 2 at number seven. Okay. Yeah. 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 It had, with the exception of him swinging and the final scene of him trying to save Mary, uh, uh, Gwen, Gwen Stacy. You, you did just respect Gwen Stacy like yeah. that. Um... When Spacey, um, that was it. The rest of that movie was like, that's <laughs> no for me. In uh, number six, Amazing Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. That that was yeah, his scenes as Spider-Man were good, but the other half of that movie was just like, mm -hmm. okay, we, we almost in total that. A little hate change here. And okay, there. number here five. We go. Here we me, go. This is where is it? Number five for me was Homecoming. Ooh. Number five is Homecoming. Ooh. It was enjoyable. It was good. It deserves to be right where it was at. Like I can, like I could watch it again. It was a good mm -hmm. new spin on the character. I like how they excluded things like the spider sense. They didn't bring that up. I like how they never mentioned Uncle Ben. Like, like we've heard that before, and they specifically edited it. I mean, not edited it, wrote around it. And I was like, this is cool. And the story that he's actually going through high school. Like, it's not like the first 30 minutes he's in high school or something like that. And, and, then, and then he's out, and then next thing you know, the rest of them, no. They were like, yeah, we're going to stick with the high school thing. Okay, here's the big one. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> y'all can immediately know where it's going after this. Far from home. What? Yeah, I put Far from Home at number four. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't as funny as I wanted it to be, but it was very much enjoyable. It just, it just wasn't like it was missing something. Like it was missing. Like I think a little more, a little more. Action or it was what? something. It was something that I was just like, I don't know. Something don't feel right, yo. It doesn't. It didn't draw me in like the other top three did. Now, the number three. I think I, I can guess your number three now. Spider Man Two. Whoa, whoa, Spider -Man whoa, Man Two. Whoa, whoa, is whoa, number three. Whoa, hold up, time out. No, follow the play. No, follow the play. Flag. 
Here we go. Here we right. go. Pass it to fetch. Here we go. Everything. Everything. Spider Man Two Hot-sticking. is number three. Number two. Spider Man Two was like that. It was the number three, but it wasn't better than number two, which is Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, which is number two. Oh my gosh. That you were thing, doing so well. That thing and then you is just good. messed up so bad. That thing was great. It was all that. Like, that's how you do a Spider Man movie while rewriting from the original. Like, the uh, Miles Morales story 100% included his roommate and everything. And the great way they rewrote that and, like, put it. The way they did and included everybody so that they can easily omit the uh, the, the roommate it was genius. It was genius, but it was just uh, he was it was just well, not well, better than the first one. Number one, which was Spider Man, the original Tobey Maguire Spider Man movie for me. Yeah. Maybe it had sentimental value. Maybe because I remember going to that myself like ah. Uh, it's a Spider-Man movie, and it's okay. And I left the theater like, oh my God, that joint was amazing. Like, I had needed somebody to talk to. I was like, I can't believe I went to see that alone. I should have like five people with me or something. That my and, dad. and that joint, that, that joint was like that. I went to that movie theater. That was amazing. Just seeing that, the way he, it, that thing brings back serious memories and how he loved Mary Jane and how he went to high school and everything. I was like, yo, this is how you make a Spider-Man movie. This is a most amazing thing I've ever seen. But Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse is a close, close second. Like, it's like right there on the edge and everything. But Spider-Man, that thing had like sentimental value. Plus it was like, I remember, I remember watching it more than once. I remember buying the DVD back in the day. I, yo, that movie was like that too. All, the struggle you had to go to, to fight the villain, to become a hero, like he, that's classic Spider-Man right there. Like that joint is like that. And Miles Morales' story is classic in itself because they somewhat followed the story, but did it justice with the way they changed it around. It was still dope and everything. So it's like a close, close second. Like it's second place, but it's close to first. But that's my list. You know so well. I don't care. You can, it's my list, it's my opinion, I can have I can have it the way I want it. Let the people know what your list is. You're doing so well. Uh, number nine. It's not supposed to specifically specifically match yours exactly. I mean, I mean, it doesn't match my exact, but you had it so wrong at the top. It's you not. Should... It's not wrong. Okay, go. So go. Go. Number nine. Obviously, Spider Man Three. That. So oh, it was yeah. so bad that it so be, it became a comedy. So that's a, that's how you know something's bad when it just becomes a comedy. So much potential. Oh, <laughs> oh man, they tried so much. Had the people so hyped. Oh man, oh. they tried so much and it just didn't work at all. They just tried to throw everything together, man. It's, yeah. it, it, it got bad. Number seven. I mean, sorry. Number eight. I'm going with Venom as well. And it's funny because I don't dislike any Spider-Man movie. Even Spider-Man 3, because I just laugh at it because it's so bad. So none of these movies are bad to me. I just want to point that out. I don't care what their ranking is. I just want to let you know that none of these movies are bad to me. And I'm including Spider-Man 3 in that because it was so bad that it made me laugh. Like, I could watch that and just have a good time laughing. Especially if it was going like this. That was so Man, got, he got a different level of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> that was outrageous. That was a different, whole different level of confidence. So, number eight is Venom. It was just a good time. I, when I went to the movie theaters, they gave me the comic, which was literally the movie, so that kind of messed me up. <laughs> it did, oh, it did. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? At least warn people ahead of time. Uh, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. I use it as floor mask for my car now. Uh, yeah, I Disrespectful all the way. Good God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I stomp on that. Muddy, muddy day. Rain outside, ah, Venom. <laughs> I will say the Eminem song is amazing though on Venom. It, that joint is like that. Go go listen to that. The Venom, the Venom, Venom. That's that does not help the Venom movie. That does not help you watch the it movie. It was in the movie. It does not help. <laughs> no, but at the end of the movie. Number uh, seven is Spider-Man 2, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man number two. Um, 
Gwen Stacy died and it sucked. Wow, we are right on exactly. I told you, you were doing fine. Yeah. Amazing Spider Man number two, it was. I liked the swinging. That was amazing. Yeah. They. They spent extra. They spent extra money on the on the swing. That was fantastic. Um, that really much. I, Gwen Stacy, like he said, Gwen Stacy dying. That wouldn't hurt. I hated the way the Green Goblin looked. Oh yeah. Oh, that love. And then in the trailer, they were like, "Oh my God!" I'm, the trailer they just kept showing the Rhino charging Spider Man. I'm like, "Oh, bet! I can't wait for this fight scene. It's gonna be like that." That and Electro. They just kept showing it. Again, I don't know why they did Electro like that. He's a much better character than that. He's so much better. Jamie Foxx should have did something like, yeah, I can't do this. Like in the film, he's like, I, I can't do this shit. I can't do this. Oh man, number six? <laughs> yeah, that, that that was bad. That was super bad. He said lick. But I, I he said lick. So you my eyes out here, guy. And then he just took that and ran with it. Never met, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's how bad it was. <laughs> number six. I mean, number six, right? Jay might go lower. Everybody go. No, they can't go. <laughs> Number six is the Amazing Spider-Man. That one, I don't care what anybody says. I really, really like the Amazing Spider-Man. Like the way he was swinging in that joint when he was going through the uh, little cranes in the air. When he was fighting a lizard. So why is it so low? Oh, because he's not better. Uh, I got classics ahead of me. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Oh, there's six. It's only nine movies, <laughs> <laughs> and all and all the the other five are classics. Uh, okay, like, another, two, uh, like two of them are classics, yeah. two three of them are classics, <laughs> and then others were just really good. Yeah, you, okay, I mean, I, okay, here we go. I mean, that's it. So number six, that number five, he loves to people. swing it. He loves to swing it. Number, number five, Spider-Man: Homecoming. Yeah. We are exactly the same. Oh, it, and, and you talk about me? It, it, it'll change. It'll change. Spider-Man Homecoming was really good. And I hate on that movie. And you can remember, I, you know, it wasn't really good. It was good. It's above average movie. Nope, nope. nope. But, hold on. But Spider-Man didn't learn anything. There was no character development. He just kept doing the same thing over and over again until, until it worked. Yes. And I'm like, I don't understand. You've been, people are telling you, stop, it's not working. You just keep doing it over and over again. You messed up three, what, right. um, two other sting operations that would have ended it earlier? That's you just kept doing it over and over That's and right. over again. That's what teenagers do. It's, yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. All right, wait a minute, number what, four? Number four. Number four, the first Spider-Man. Holy smoke, we did go, we took a change. What? <laughs> What? I told you. <laughs> Who? Something needs to get thrown. Something needs to get thrown. The what? first Spider-Man. I stand by my decision. The first Spider-Man. First of all, it's a great movie. Not denying that at all. Um, it's just when I was watching the movie, I guess I was a little too young, so I didn't understand why he left Mary Jane. At the, at the funeral. But I mean, you're older now. You should you know, be able to. My dad explained it. Like, I watched it with my dad. I went to the movies with my dad, and he explained it right there. I was like, oh. And that's before I really uh, got the concept of finishing a movie, not not finishing a story in a movie so you can make another movie. So, you know, that sticks in my craw right there. But uh, I don't know. It's just something about Spider. At first, I was like, it's always just. That last scene is what really made that movie, too, boy. You were like, he's about to get the girl. Oh. Yeah, I was again. I was a teenager who who was bad at talking to girls then, so that doesn't make no sense to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I was still learning game. That explains everything, people, and that's why he still has a rank lower than what it should be. I'm fine with that. Uh, you ready? We're at number three, right? Yeah, we had number three. All right. Number three, Spider-Man: Far From Home. Um, that was a really good movie. I mean, it was like really good. I hate the fact that he had a black and red suit. I'm gonna stand by that to the day I die. And both Spider-Man, Homecoming, and Far From Home, I hate that they took a Miles Morales character, changed his name, and gave him to Peter Parker. Literally the same role he was for Miles Morales. You know, I'm never gonna let that go. I'm never not gonna bring that up. It was disrespectful in every level, every sense of the way. And I don't care what anybody has to say about that. It's my standard, but outside of that, the movie's great. I told you I gave it a nine, just a flat out nine, not a nine point one or whatever, just a nine. 
and it deserves that. It deserves to be a number three. Number two, Spider Man 2. Classic. Classic. Doc Ock, one of the greatest mm -hmm. villains mm -hmm. in, in cinematic superhero movie. He was amazing. The only thing, the only reason I don't have it higher is because that joint, the way they filmed that, looked like a 90s horror movie. Like the way they were, <laughs> like the way they were screaming. Like go back and watch that movie. Yo. This was on TV recently. Yeah. Go back and watch that movie. I'm sitting and watching it with my fiance, and I'm like, "Yo, doesn't this look like a scream?" And they was like, "She does." Like the way they just screaming. You know, like in an old '90s movie, you scream and they just kind of the camera just ah, it gets a little close, and then it cuts away to something else. And they did it like six times in the first 30 minutes. And it, I swear to God, she don't look like a '90s movie. And when it was. Uh, when they say a quick line that somebody walking by, like when Doc Ock's wife died, and she said, "Oh man, the magic could have been worse." And you see her flip the, uh, the thing. I'm like, "Yo, this is Scream. I've seen this movie. It's yeah. Scream." You're right. That part when he became Doc Ock, and or no, when he was killing everybody yeah. and that girl. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Uh, what I'm I, I remember what part you yeah, talked yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. Look like a '90s movie. Yeah, that was pretty. It's pretty loud. Pretty. Yeah. But number one, here we go. We can't guess it. It's Spider Man. Into the Spider Verse, there's nothing wrong with that movie. <laughs> nothing, wrong. nothing wrong with it. The only thing I might pick at is that I did. I thought I, when I went to the movies to watch it, the way the animation was, I thought I was in the putting watching it in 3D and give me the glasses. Yes, that joy still freaks me out to this day. I'm still looking at that joint on Netflix like. But outside of that, I do not care because once you get past that, there's nothing wrong with it. And I mean, Kingpin, Kingpin looked. Oh yeah, Kingpin horrible. looked. I don't care. You know what? Horrible. Every movie has flaws. Don't care. That sh that movie was amazing. It was horrible. Perfection. If you're gonna do an animated movie, do it like that. Kingpin. Kingpin's character. Kingpin was like his animation was but everything his else. His animation about, was just like, yeah. Ah. But everything everything else about Kingpin was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So I'm out. It it was great. Uh, just just great. Just. Just great, that's it. Just perfection. Just, no, if it's perfection, say perfection. I said it was perfection. Well, to say that, don't say just great. Just great is it's, homecoming. It's number one. Far from home is just it, great. Spider Man, let you tell it. Spider Man is just great. Putting it number four. I stand by that. Yeah. I stand by it. You're wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong, but it's, it's, it is what it is. Oh. That, wow. Spider, Spider Man to Spider Versus. It's one, of the, it's one of the best movies. Like, if you had to get anybody in a superhero movie, you'd start with that one. You know what? You know what your number one and two have in common? They both have Doc Ock in them. <laughs> if I could have made the uh, the Spider Man game movie joint, that would have been up there too. Oh, that joint was. And like guess who's that in that story? Doc Ock. Yo, it's like a pattern here, yo. If like, Doc Ock is in your story, you. You are. You, you, you're doing you are. good. You're doing good if he's in there. Yeah. As far as he's concerned, you're doing pretty good. Although that Mysterio, jeez, that man acted within the acting, within the acting. Oh man, that was good. That was good. That was good. So yeah, I'm, I'm going with it. All right. My list is pretty I, much Iron perfect. Man creating villains and everything. It's not. It's not. It is. It's not. Nah. You messed up on four, three, two, one. No, I didn't. You messed up. And it's clear that you let your sentimental values get a, get ahead of actually ranking the movies. And you didn't evolve at all from being a child to being an adult and knowing that, that 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 first of all him see, him having him walking away from the girl at the end of the movie was a setup for I just what said, is I just said that. that. Yeah. But you should rank it higher now because now that you but know not, what it is. You know what? what? It would have been number three if it wasn't for Far From Home. What you want me to do? Not acknowledge Far From Home? Yeah. How great that was? It was good, buddy. And I messed up everybody. I'm sorry. Far From Home was just sorry. so so. My job's calling because, you know, I called out. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we have everybody's <laughs> <laughs> It's messed up. Okay. So, but, no, no. I refuse, bro. I refuse. Refuse what? Four, three, two, one is. You know what? You guys let us know your list. So wait, where did you have you had? Where did you have Far From Home? Far From Home is four. So where did you have number three? Spider Man Two. How you have Spider Man Two so low? Is what do you mean so low? It's only number three. It should be number two. No, 
It's number three. First of all, we all agree that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse might be the greatest comic book movie of all time. It won an Oscar. The, the Oscar does not make you a. a it beat Incredible It doesn't make you a great anything. It doesn't. Make, You're right. Incredibles doesn't. Two. Is it the? Isn't the quintessential? It, I find it. It'd be the Disney movie. You know how hard that is? It is a Disney. It's the part of the Disney family, low key. No, it's not. Sub Disney. No, it's not. Slash Disney help. Disney could be like our name somewhere in there. No, it's not. Disney. Disney it, part. It, yeah, in the in the live action, not the animated movie. They're did their name somewhere in there somehow. It's not. Please, please believe. Please believe. It's we're going to go searching for, <laughs> search for that. It ain't. Well, well, search and fail. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's number. It's far from home. It's number four. It's not. It is. It is. You just gotta just, just no. Just move it up. Spider Man Two was definitely Spider Man Two is was the greatest Spider Man movie of all time until Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. <sighs> Everybody has it as number one until that movie. Nah, I got Spider Man number one is number one. That joint is like that. That joint set. That joint set the bar. Spider Man one. Literally set the bar. Some people will say, I can understand everybody's argument where they say Spider Man 2 set the bar. Spider Man no. 2, Spider, Spider Man 1 set the bar. I'm not denying that. It set the bar. The, bar. the bar was here. Then Spider Man 2 came and said, Reset. And that was it. And, it, and nothing was beating that until Spider, to, Spider Man to the Spider Verse said, We can't beat y'all with just one Spider Man. We'll give you five. Boom. Oh my gosh, it's a wrap. No, no, Spider Man still like, like the first. That. Like, oh, the first one was like that. It was great. I'm not denying it was great. It was but I'm just saying there's no three movies, that came out better. No movie's perfect except for like two movies, but yeah, damn near. But there's three movies that came out that were better. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. It's not. You guys can give us your list in the comments section below. It's not. Matter of fact. Just, just say Daniel's list is right. Just we want to keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Daniel, Daniel's you know, list is right. Nobody's ever agree with your list or any of these rankings, right? You're all fools, okay? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing out there in the world, but you need to get it together. Everybody, okay? nobody listened to your pick after you had Logan at number six on X Men. That was just disrespectful. You gotta let that go. I never accept that. Except, never gonna let that. Except go. how it was, yo. I'm never gonna let that go. How dare you? How dare you? I need not see that it was easily like as low as it was. Easily as low as it was. But we're talking about Spider-Man now. Give us your list, people. Also, if I you did. don't mind, let us know what you think is gonna happen in the Spider-Man 3. It's so it's gonna be crazy, people. It's gonna be bananas. And if you haven't seen Spider-Man Far From Home yet, we recommend it. Definitely go see that movie. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. It's number Dare three. I say, amazing. It's, it's number three. It's you decide for yourself after you've seen it. Give us your list in the com in the comments section. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you love what you see, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications when our next video drops. Until next time, guys. We out. Deuces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in the club. We party. We in the club. We party. Yeah, yeah. How much ice you got? I don't know. Get it nah. all this man. I cannot mess like I am the ace Electric keeps you dinner, leave you with aftershock Getting angry then I turn to incredible hog Bite and bog, chop it down like you one of them stars